Does this keyboard cure type 2 diabetes? No, of course not. Or does it? Okay, let's unbox it. Let's unbox the G915. Here we go. Keyboard, it's a wire. Things, stickers, and I don't know what this is. Ooh, shiny. Unboxing complete. It's nice. Here's what comes in the box. You got a keyboard. You got a sticker. You got a USB cable. It's wireless, I don't know why you'd need this. Paper of some sort. You've got this thing, and I don't know what that is yet. You're not part of the unboxing. Alrighty, let's review the Logitech G915TKL wireless keyboard. So why would you want to buy this thing? How about onboard media controls? Lightspeed Pro technology. LightSync RGB. A one millisecond response time and a 40 hour battery life. Nice. First up, let's talk about those onboard media controls. At the top right of the G915, you've got a bunch of buttons. You've got a play and pause button, a fast forward button, a rewind button, and a mute button. These buttons are great. They allow you to control your media quickly and efficiently. For example, you can use the fast forward button to get to the best parts of your favorite videos. So what's my final verdict? I give the Logitech G915T That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. There's also a volume wheel next to these buttons. It allows you to raise and lower the volume. I honestly found myself using that volume wheel quite a bit. It's hella useful. And let's face it, the world would be a much better place if we always had a volume wheel. Bro, think about it. If the earth is really round, how come you can't see the curvature of it on the horizon? My buddy's uncle's cousin Mike knew a guy that worked for NASA, and he said that it's all in Okay, let's move on to more fun things this keyboard can do. How about we talk about that Lightspeed Pro technology? So here's the nitty gritty. Lightspeed tech is basically what Logitech uses to make its keyboard wireless. While some wireless mice and keyboards might have a bit of a delay, the G915 has almost zero latency and is ultra reliable. It's so reliable, I decided to put it as my emergency contact in case anything ever goes wrong. All jokes aside though, this keyboard is very reliable. The G915 has a one millisecond response time, and although that's not considered zero latency, you'd be hard pressed to tell it doesn't feel 100% responsive. How fast is one millisecond, you ask? Well, it's quick enough that you might have missed the one millisecond frame I inserted in the video. To be fair, here's the entire clip, just so you don't think that I'm keeping stuff away from you. Adorable. The one millisecond response time is great, and it makes it feasible to use this keyboard competitively because of the speed and accuracy. I also didn't notice any interference or drops in the connection due to other wireless devices being nearby. If you don't dig the light speed technology, there's also a Bluetooth button. At first, I wasn't sure why you'd use anything else other than the light speed tech, but then I realized that you can connect to other devices via Bluetooth. This can be useful if you want to type faster on your tablet or use the keyboard for mobile gaming. Next up, let's talk about those keys. The G915 comes with one of three key options, clicky, tactile, or linear. I decided to review the clicky one because I like the word clicky. Although I can't speak on other models, I really did enjoy the clicky feel of these keys. They have a nice level of feedback and the sound they make is really enjoyable, to me at least. The keys are a little bit louder than some keyboards out there. For example, That was a joke. Here's what it actually sounds like. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. I really like these keys. It's dang satisfying to press them. Almost as satisfying as getting that perfect crack when making eggs. Something that might be a deterrent to some though is the lack of keycap customizability. They're relatively easy to pop off, but I couldn't find any replacement keys online. Although, if you do go into the depths of AliExpress, you might be able to find something. Just make sure you don't mind waiting a long time to get it. For example, I ordered this little fella six years ago, 
and it just arrived yesterday. He was alive when I ordered him. Something to keep in mind is that the keyboard isn't compatible with Logitech Roamer keys. So if you want to switch out the keys for Roamers, you won't be able to. Moving on, let's talk about those pretty lights. The G915 is powered by LightSync RGB, which can be controlled via the Logitech G-Hub app. There's a bunch of presets you can choose from, or you can build your own color profile. According to Logitech, you can customize the keyboard with up to 16.8 million color combinations. So naturally, I decided to put that to the test. 16,799,997. 16,799,998. Wait a second. That's it? You son of a... There's also a button on top of the keyboard that allows you to control the brightness by 25% increments. Very useful. That G-Hub app also allows you to customize more than the lights. Outside of the usual macro customizations you can do, you can also set what the game mode button does. That little button right next to the brightness. There it is. It basically allows you to disable certain keys, that way you don't accidentally hit them when you're gaming. As a challenge to myself, I decided to disable the WASDA keys and see how far I could get in Dark Souls 3. Well, that was a stupid idea. All right, let's talk about the looks and build quality. Right out of the box, you can feel the heft of the G915. It's built with brushed aluminum and definitely feels solid. It's also very low profile and thin. It's so thin, I decided to compare it to my girlfriend. If you want to change the angle of the keyboard, you can flip up the four or eight degree flippy paddle thing in the back. Speaking of the back, there's also a spot where you can place the wireless dongle. You can now bring your keyboard anywhere you like. As for battery life, at maximum brightness, this thing will last about 40 hours. As a default though, the keyboard auto dims itself when not in use, so that should extend the battery life a bit. The Logitech G915 TKL will run you about 230 bucks. Yes, it's muy muy expensive. So let's talk pros. I really enjoyed the feeling of the keys being pressed, and the build quality is terrific. Although I didn't use the other media controls, the volume wheel was really convenient. The high level of RGB customizability was also very impressive. As far as cons go, really just the price. 230 bucks is a little bit steep for a keyboard. Apart from that though, I really love this thing. So what's my final verdict? I give the Logitech G915 TKL five AliExpress kitties out of five. Hey gang, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like or subscribe or comment or do all three. It'll make me feel good inside. Bye.